Whoa! Galloping Galaxies, it's good to see you. And I truly duly mean that. Sometimes people say things they don't mean. And if you don't tell the truth, people won't believe you. Today, Dr. Arvid brings a special animal for a visit. And we learn the story about a boy who lied once too often. Do you want to hear the story and play along with us? You do? Then come on, the fun's about to start. Melton Meteorites, where is it? Oh dear me, I can't believe it. What are you doing, Marty? Oh. <laughs> I'm checking for wibble leakage with my dewibbleizer. You see, I heard Dooley recording his daily Dooley log. Where he reports what he learned on Earth? Exactly. And I heard him say there was a wibble leak in the side of the ship. And? And that could be very dangerous. Wow, then we better find that wibble leak before it leaks any more wibbles, whatever they are. What are you all doing? Whoa. 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 What are you doing there? Well, fluttering fizzle bits. We were wondering what you were all doing. We're looking for wibble leaks. Oh, wibble leaks? Yes. Wibble leaks. I heard you talking about it on your daily dooley log, and it sounded dangerous. So I came out here to check it out. Yes, well, uh, go, oh, go, oh, colliding constellations. I didn't exactly tell the entire truth in my daily dooley log. What? But dooley, you always tell the truth. I mean, you're the most honest person. Well, alien that we know. Yeah, well, it's just that my daily doodle dog reports were all sounding the same, and I wanted to make them sound a little more mm, interesting. But Dooley, you exaggerated. Uh, well, no, I'm not sure. Exaggerated? Accessing data bank. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, here it is. To exaggerate, to make things sound bigger and more exciting than they really are. Yeah, I guess I did exaggerate. Oh, but only a little bit. Oh, Dooley, you had me so upset. I was worried that there was something seriously wrong with the ship. We thought we were in danger. We could have called 911 for an emergency. And I don't think they have a wibble squad. Dooley, you have to be careful. You see, it's too easy to slip from exaggerating a little to completely making something up. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I shouldn't have exaggerated. <sighs> yeah, I remember when I was younger. I didn't know how to ride my bike yet, but I told my friends I could. When I went riding with them, I fell down. You should always tell the truth. Dooley, it's okay if you exaggerate if you're telling a pretend story. Yeah, or playing a game. But when it's for real, you should always tell the truth. When you're stuck between a rock and a hard place And you don't know exactly what to do let your conscience be your guide when you're tempted to lie. You'll feel better if you tell the truth. Tell the truth, tell the truth, tell the truth, tell the truth. You'll feel better if you tell the truth. Everybody knows that lies come in each and every size. But there's only one way to tell the truth. of trouble and a bigger lie can lead to even more if you doubt what i say then i may walk away so it's better if you tell the truth 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 you'll feel better if you tell the truth Tell the truth, tell the truth, tell the truth, tell the truth. You'll feel better if 
each and every slice But there's only one way to tell the truth Tell the truth Tell the truth You'll feel better if you tell the truth Everybody knows that lies come in each and every size But there's only one way to tell the truth Yes, there's only one way to tell the truth Great, isn't it? Oh, uh, uh, it's you, Zoom. Yeah, it's so, hmm, unique. I only wish I could have one like it. Thank you, Cosmos. I like it, too. Ugh. I didn't want to hurt Zoom's feelings, but, uh... Pitui, what an awful hat. Cosmos! Ah! Oh, sorry, Zoom. I mean, uh... Yes? Remember how you said how nice my hat was? Yes. And how you wished you could have one just like it? Well, uh... Hmm. But that hat is one of a kind, Zoom. Yeah, and I would never want to take away your enjoyment of it, but... Oh, my. I had one made just like it for you, my old buddy, old pal. Hmm. Gee, I, uh... I don't know what to say. Ugh, I honestly don't. Today's Bible Fun Facts are about honesty. The Bible tells us honesty makes us feel good. When we're honest, everything works out fine. God wants us to be like Jesus and always tell the truth. <laughs> How did you all? Hey, Mrs. Z. What's new? We're looking for a good story to read. Oh, I love stories. Books are a lot of fun to read. I like being lost in a world of pretend. That's why we're reading today. To show Julie the difference between telling the truth and pretending. Oh, yeah. I kind of exaggerated and worried my friends today. Oh, I see. That must be why your letter of the day is T for the truth. And T is for telling the truth which you should always do. And T is for tall tales. These are stories you make up, but you know they're not really true. Hmm. Hey, maybe I could make up a pretend story for you. Would you like to hear it? Yeah! Sure, Dooley. Woohoo! It was the Jungle Jam Band Jamming across the land It was the Jungle Jam Band Jamming across the land Hey, everybody, listen up. I got a tale that's wild but true. I was in the jungle many years ago when I ran across this group. All the animals gathered round to hear every day at half past 10. These guys would get the rainforest rocking. Now help me pretend. First the monkey went. <laughs> then the tiger went. The toucan said. <laughs> but there was more. <gasps> I heard the elephant. <laughs> Then Tarzan gave the word. Oh. It was the craziest sight and sound I have ever heard. It was the Jungle Jam Band, jamming across the land. It was the Jungle Jam Band, jamming across the land. So I sat and listened all day long. Their music filled my head. Till at last I had to go home, crawl into my bed. I've not been back to the Jungle Jam since that very day. But still, I remember the way it sounds as if it was yesterday. First the monkey went. <laughs> then the tiger went. <laughs> the toucan said. <laughs> but there was more. <laughs> I heard the elephant. <laughs> then Tarzan gave the word. 
When they put it all together, this is what I heard. All together now. It was the Jungle Jam Band. Yeah. Jamming across the leg. It was the Jungle Jam Band. Jamming across the leg. Take it home. It was the Jungle Jam Band. Jamming across the land. <laughs> that was a lot of fun and a great pretend story, too. I'd love to stay, but I'd better make like a tree and leave. No. <laughs> Ooh, are those my picture pals for today? They truly duly are. Thank you. You're welcome. Gotta run, but you know you'll see me tomorrow. And that's the truth or la verdad in Spanish. Bye, all. Bye, Mrs. Z. La verdad. <laughs> Ooh, this picture Justin sent in is beautiful. Wow, look at the picture Sam sent in. What a great picture of me. It's from Amy. Thanks, picture pals. I love getting your pictures. Hey, kids, when we're telling the truth, we're being the best that we can be. Take a look at this. Hi, guys. What's going on today? Hey, Dr. Arvid. Hi, Dad. Wow, Dr. Arvid. What's that? Well, this is a wolf, Dooley. He lives at the zoo, and he stopped by my veterinarian office for a checkup. Ooh, he's cool. Wow, he's a real wild thing. That's right, Ashley. Wolves are wild animals, and it's a good idea never to approach one. But this wolf is tamed and used to humans. Looks like a dog to me. Well, that's because dogs and wolves are related. And like dogs, wolves, too, are very smart. I can't wait to tell my friends I met a wolf, <laughs> and it will be a true story. We've been learning about telling the truth today, Dr. Arvid. Well, that's very important, Dooley. You know you don't want to be the little boy who cried wolf. What's that, Dad? Oh, well, honey, that's just a saying for when someone isn't telling the truth. It comes from an old story about a little boy who told a fib too many times. What happened to him, Dr. Arvid? Well, I could tell you, Nick, but I think you should read the story for yourself. <laughs> but look, let me get this guy back. You can see he's getting hungry. Then you should definitely get him back to the zoo. <laughs> Bye, guys. Have fun. Bye, Dr. Arvid. Bye, Dad. Jumpin' Jupiter. Dr. Arvid sure brings some interesting animals to meet us. Say, do you know the story he's talking about? The boy who cried wolf? I think we should read the book, don't you? I'll go look for it now. <sighs> oh, Cosmos, I am so glad that we have matching hats. Oh. Cosmos, 
What are you doing way down there? Huh? Oh, uh, looking for flowers? <laughs> but there aren't any flowers there. Oh, Zoom, I can't keep lying to you. I'm not looking for anything. I'm hiding. You lied to me about looking for flowers? Yeah, worse than that, I lied about your hat. <gasps> you lied about my hat? Yes, to tell the truth, I don't like your hat. <gasps> I don't like my hat either. <gasps> I hate them both. <gasps> I, I can't believe you didn't say anything when you saw my hat. Oh, but I didn't want to hurt your feelings by telling you your hat made you look silly. Silly? <laughs> my feelings are so hurt. Oh, because because I, I said your hat made you look silly and funny looking? No, because you didn't tell me the truth right away. And I thought you were my friend. <laughs> oh. Oh, Zoom, come back. I'm sorry. I'll wear your ugly hat. And that's the truth, Zoom. Zoom! Whoa. <laughs> Some more bubble fun facts about honesty. The Bible tells us we should treat others the way we want to be treated and always tell them the truth. Hey kids, it's time for some dually size. Are you ready to do the dually? So come on, stand up. Oh yeah! Here's a little dance that I like to do. Give it a try and you can do it too. Come on and twist, twist, twist around. The Boy Who Cried Wolf. Will you read it to us? Oh, please. <laughs> sure. I can't wait. Yeah, and we'll act it out. I like pretending the story's really happening. It'll be fun. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a young shepherd who tended a flock of sheep. However, the boy became bored, and to get attention, he cried, Wolf! Wolf! Oh, that's us. We're on. <clears throat> what is it, Shepherd? Is there a wolf here? Are you all right? The boy explained that there wasn't really a wolf. There's no wolf. I just wanted a little attention. Oh, phooey. A little time passed, and the boy became bored again, so he yelled, Wolf! Wolf! <laughs> oh, oh. Where's the wolf? We have to protect your sheep. Oh, I'm scared of wolves. Ooh. But the shepherd explained. Well, I didn't really see a wolf. I was just lonesome and a little bored. <laughs> Only a little while later, a wolf really did creep out of the forest. 
The shepherd was frightened for his sheep and yelled, Wolf! Wolf! But no one came. Wolf! This time, there really is a wolf! Help! But no one believed the boy, and no one came to help him. The wolf ate up all the shepherd's sheep. The end. <laughs> <laughs> Jumpin' Jupiter! That was a good story. The boy should have told the truth, though. Then people would have helped him when he really needed it. Well, it's hard to believe people who don't always tell the truth. I think I understand. Making things up is fun for stories and pretend games, but we should always tell the truth when it counts. Exactly. People will always believe us if we... Tell the truth! You'll feel better if you tell the truth. Tell the truth. Oh, Zoom. I'm sorry I didn't tell you the truth about your head. Oh, that's okay. You just have to tell the truth from now on. In fact, I've been wanting to tell you the truth about a few things, too. Oh, that's great, Zoom. I always want to hear the truth, especially from a friend. Okay, what do you have to say? Well, <clears throat> You know that noise you make when you eat? Yuck! Drives me nuts! And what is it with your snoring? It's like sleeping near a buzzsaw! Zoom! And... Zoom! Yes, Cosmo? There is such a thing as too much truth. Why don't you just wait until I ask, okay? Uh, okay, buddy. <laughs> <sighs> Daily Dooley Log Entry. Whoop! Hi, everybody. It's me, Dooley. Ever since my ship landed here on Earth, I've learned lots about your planet. Today, I learned when we exaggerate or make things up, we're not telling the whole truth. Even little lies can lead to big trouble. Dooley! You had me so upset. I was worried that there was something seriously wrong with the ship. Mrs. Z brought us the letter T. She told us that making things up for fun is good for stories, but not for friends. Dr. Arvid stopped by with a wolf and told us about the boy who cried wolf. Sometimes that's what we call someone when they don't tell the truth. Marty and the kids acted out the story. We had fun pretending and we learned when we tell the truth, others will believe what we say. Making things up is fun for stories and playing games, but we should always tell the truth when it counts. And we shared some duly ripping picture pals. <laughs> it was a great day! Circling satellites. You know what that means. Time to go. Hey, hey. Hi, ho. Do we, do we, do we have to go? We sure do, but we had so much fun today. It was a dually day. Today we had a great day. Great day. With good friends.
truly duly glad you came to learn and play with us today. So long for now. See you next time. Uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> see you next time.